Hi guys, in this video I will show you settings after calibration of LG's 42LF652V, that's company's best Full HD LCD TV in 2015 lineup, direct successor to very popular last year's model LB650. So let's see how menus look after calibration. So I'll open this home menu and go to settings. As usual, different presets are available. By default, picture is in echo mode, which is not really precise. But much more balanced picture is in cinema and expert 1 and expert 2. I've selected expert 1 for calibration. And as you can see, backlight, contrast, brightness, horizontal and vertical sharpness, color, tint, they all remained at their default values. Backlight of 80 will give you roughly 220 nits, peak brightness. Jumping to expert control, here you see dynamic contrast and super resolution off, color gamut at wide, because it will give like half percent more coverage of Rack 709 compared to standard. So colors will not become overly saturated but correctly saturated according to Rack 709. Edge enhancer off, color filter off, gamma 2.2. Yeah, different settings are available. I tried to match gamma 2.2 by going with 2.4 but that actually made picture too dark so I decided to stick with default 2.2 white balance as usual LG offers two different methods of setting grayscale with color temperature set at warm 2 and two point method for let's start with high values you see increased blue so by default there was a bit too much green in expert presets so with this i balanced it out and now let's see dark area of the picture here red was increased of course i wanted to get as flat grayscale as possible so here are settings in 20 point method with 10 percent stimulus adjustments So you see values for red, green and blue. Now let me go to 90. eighty. Seventy. Seventy small modification to blue. Sixty. 50, 40, 30, 20, and finally 10%. Here you see increased green and red values. You can easily copy all these settings with this command. You just press OK and TV will copy to other inputs. Color management system, you have to do this individually for each input and settings are like this, primarily on the luminance of each color. And now let's go to picture options, where you see noise reduction and impact noise reduction off. For different types of signal you can experiment with this. Noise reduction is highly effective, so for uh, noisy content you can turn this option on. 
black level is low for this type of signal real cinema on this is connected with how interlaced signals will be treated I recommend turning it on and true motion so motion interpolation and blur reduction algorithm you have smooth and clear options but also user preset where you can individually adjust soap opera effect by increasing the judder control and reduction of blur with the blur component I recommend this combination okay and what else is important if I go back aspect ratio it needs to be set to just scan and not to 16 by 9 or original because both of these settings will introduce over scan and take part of the original information away by zooming in the picture so just take a look how position of LG's logo changes so just scan is the correct option so picture after calibration is nicely balanced with nice colors according to Rec 709 contrast is below 1000 to 1 and cannot be increased by local dimming because this option is reserved for higher-end models in LG's lineup but skin tones are very nice also increased motion resolution and really barely visible dirty screen effect means that TV is okay for playing games and watching sports this is it thank you for watching this settings after calibration video if you have any questions, suggestions, please leave them in comment section. Thank you and see you next time.